Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Tasha. I'm 25 and I have a 14 month old son called Magnus. My channel is like a mixture of parenting and life from like day in the life videos to hauls and this shiny new series. Um, as you can probably tell from the title, I'm back at Slimming World. Uh, this is my third time joining and I'm not going to lie, every time I've given up, because it's just purely because it got too hard and I chickened out, but I've realised it's just, this isn't me, like I'm a pretty stubborn person and I don't like giving up on anything, so here I am again. My body desires looking after and I deserve to feel good about myself. I've been feeling like rubbish since I left, the point I actually went to the doctor, because I thought I was genuinely ill, but it turns out there's nothing wrong with me, it's probably just my diet. So... I'm going to talk a bit about what Slimming World is for now. Um, apologies if you already know like what it is. But yeah, if you're just sort of brand new to it and you're just doing a bit of research and you've stumbled upon me, then yeah, I'm going to explain it. So Slimming World is basically sort of a eating plan for those who don't want to starve themselves but want to lose weight. But they just want to make healthier choices in life but need that sort of level of structure behind it which is basically like the reason I joined. So basically you have your four food groups. Your speed food which is like your fruits and your vegetables. You want at least a third of a plate of speed food with every meal which can be a bit tricky at times but it's definitely doable. You just have to use your imagination sometimes. And then you have your free foods, which covers most meats, but you need to remove the skin and fat from meats for them to actually count as free. And your mince only counts if it's 5% fat or less. Um, you also have your fish, your pasta, potatoes and things in here. And tell you what, it's a dream to be able to eat as much pasta as I want and still lose weight because I am obsessed with pasta. Alrighty. Then you have your healthy extras, which is your dairy and your fibre products. Um, you have a certain amount of each to eat in a day and they do need to be weighed or measured. For example, my healthy extra A, which is dairy, tends to go on 40 grams light cheddar and my healthy extra B, fibre, which tends to go on to high fibre bars, um, which I will touch on a little bit later. Um, then you have the sins, which are like your treats. You get between 5 and 15 sins a day and everything has a sin value. A Crunchy Blast ice cream is 12 sins, a Freddo is 5, Fruit Pastels are 7, and so on. And yes, there's a reason those are the ones that I know off by heart. So when you get into groups, you are given a new membership pack, which looks like this says love food love friendship love life love slimming world inside we have a booklet on body magic which is like slimming world speak for exercise this new book i've never actually received before but it's about like getting the best start possible this one is about image therapy, which is the group part of your weigh-in, where people talk about their weeks and like any successes, any losses, and gains, maintains. Uh, it's just a really great place for like inspiration, tips, recipes. And finally, your Slimming World Bible. Um, this contains everything you really need to know about Slimming World. So it's got like what you can eat for like this is like if you're free foods i think this is the fish section then you've got like your healthy extras you see what counts in those your speed foods at the beginning all of that stuff then you have like, menu ideas just to yeah, give you a bit of a starting point A handy list of sin values. And then the really terrifying bit at the moment anyway. Your personal progress report. Obviously mine is empty right now because I just joined. 
But this is where it gets to start a scary point. I'm going to talk about myself a bit. My starting weight is 12 stone 4. Um, it's not the worst I've ever been, but I'm only like 5 foot 3, so it's not a great weight at all. <laughs> and my target weight is 8 stone 7, so I've got quite a bit of way to go, but I know I can do it. Last time I was on an absolute roll, and I just got completely derailed by Christmas. So I know I've got the ability to do it, I just need to really stick to it. Um, I'm going to try and fit in some body magic along with the body or well, the food optimizing this time which is something I've never really done before but like summer's coming so I've got no excuse for not popping Magnus into his pram and just going for a walk or something and then at the end of the group I also picked up this baby um these other hi-fi bars I mentioned earlier uh this one as you can probably tell is a dark chalk mint but they come in like all sorts of flavours, so you got like chocolate orange, apple and blackberry, and salted caramel. My favourite was the chocolate mocha, but they've stopped doing that now, which is quite sad. So finally, I just want to talk to you a little bit about this series. Uh, I'm going to be pushing up an update every Tuesday. My wing it weigh-ins are on Mondays, but they're from like 5.30 to 7. So you'd probably be seeing them at like midnight if I just put them up on the same day. Um, and I just want to use these as like motivation, looking back at the good weeks for inspiration when I've not necessarily done so well, uh, to support others on their journeys and hopefully give some tips and inspiration and share snacks and recipes I've discovered and to just have fun with it. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.